these military bases. They're polluters. It really is. There is a serial killer in our backyard, and it's called Fort Dietrich. This story needs to be told. It needs is to get out there. For any cancer clusters in the Frederick area. This is Survey. not play. Yeah, Something has to be done. Over 1,300 families have, five trans family have been homes affected here have had by over these cancers. 15 cases of cancer. This hurts and this destroys family, destroys lives, destroys childhoods. I grew up close to Fort Detrick. As a child, I cringed at the campfire rumors of what went on there. Large amounts of toxins and contaminants were buried in Area B-11 all at once. Over time, these barrels corroded and their innards leached into our groundwater. I spent my childhood living next to and on top of an unknown chemical cocktail. There was still contamination flowing through the water that was coming out of Area B. It's the most dangerous place in probably in the world is Fort Detrick and we live beside this place. Fort Detrick began biological warfare testing in the early 40s. By the end of the program, we had weaponized a total of seven incapacitating or lethal human agents, including anthrax. In 1969, Richard Nixon renounced the use of biological weapons for the United States. I have decided that the United States of America will renounce the use of any form of deadly biological weapons, biological weapons, biological weapons, that either kill or incapacitate. My sister had brain cancer, and Helen, she suffered awful. She had cancer terrible, and Jimmy's wife died with cancer. Uncle Bill, um, he died of brain cancer. That either kill. My mother died from cancer. My older brother died of cancer. That either kill. My uncle Harry, who died with pancreatic cancer, my cousin Nancy, who died with brain cancer. Peter Hill. All the folks that we knew around here, the, the lifelong residents, have all died from cancer. She had breast cancer. Mom has Alzheimer's. Her leukemia now is like stage four. My mother had contacted cancer, uh, uterus cancer. After we were married for like three years, I had gotten cancer. Uh, I had cervical cancer. Telling my kids that I had cancer four years ago this weekend on Mother's Day was the hardest thing I've ever done. Entire Entire and his family Fort Fort Dietrich, nice. one of the most dangerous sites I've worked on. I've worked as a geologist, environmental scientist for 30 years. The remnants from the experiments in the labs were placed into the ground in Area B-11. Some things were put into metal drums, others just buried. It's counterintuitive to believe that no scientist or layman realized that these metal drums would corrode over time. Over time, these barrels corroded and their innards leached into our groundwater. The live in Frederick County is whether the water and the soil there remain contaminated with deadly toxins. I really think that everyone that was affected by the water we drank here, we bathed in this water. We drank it and, 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 and bathed in it. We do know we that did. the main contaminants in our groundwater are PCE and TCE, both known carcinogens. It was still flowing into Carroll Creek, where kids were swimming and playing and entertaining. Fort Dietrich has repeatedly refused to do what it takes to put up signs cautioning people or warning people of the dangers in the During area. the Cold War, Fort Dietrich led the country's research into biological warfare, even experimenting with Agent Orange. For decades, the military dumped its toxic leftovers directly into the ground. In fact, ongoing Gracie Taylor ground. survived renal cancer and now suffers from multiple myeloma, cancer of the plasma cells in her bone marrow. Kristen Renee's father has spent years pressing for Dietrich to explain why so many people in the area have you developed know, there cancers. There are plenty of people living with cancer in this area who want to know how they got sick. I don't think it's safe for the people to work there. I really don't. For Gruden, it's personal. Are we going to continue to disregard the scores of people in Frederick that are dying of brain tumor and cancers? My daughter was diagnosed of having brain cancer at the age of 28 years old and she died in my arms at 29 and a half. There is a serial killer in our backyard and it's called Fort Dietrich. 